everyone, it's Haley, and today I'm going to be doing my February book haul. So I actually did really well controlling my book buying this month. I only ended up buying five books, which is super awesome. It's actually keeping with my little book buying rule, which was where I would, um, for every two books that I read, I was able to buy one book. So I ended up reading 15 books, so I did, like, I could have bought more than five, but I just ended up buying five. So I did really awesome in controlling myself. Pat on the back to me. Woo woo. So yeah, let's get into what I did buy. So all of these books except for one are from Book Outlet, so I did actually get all of them for bargain, which is super super awesome. I probably spent like $30 30 maybe $40 on books in total this month, which I am super happy with. So the first book I got is the one that is not from Book Outlet, and that is Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. So I found this at Costco four days before the release date, and I was so excited. I just had to get it. It was only like $10, which is an awesome, awesome deal, and I'm so excited to have this in my hands. This was one of my most anticipated books for 2015. It just sounds so cool. If you didn't know, it's a fantasy that is about this world where people's status is determined by their blood. So there are these silver bloods and they are the elite kind of oppressive people who kind of control the red bloods. And the silver bloods have powers and the red bloods do not. It's very interesting. I'm reading it right now. I'm not very far in at all. I'm on chapter three so I don't really have that like too many thoughts right now. Oh, another thing that I got, I got these little bookmarks from Crafted Van. This one is Elsa, obviously. Queen Elsa, Red Queen. You get it? You get it? There we go. So yeah, I don't really have too many thoughts about this right now, but it seems super cool. It's a really pretty book. The cover is gorgeous, and even the end papers, which someone told me what they're called actually, but I don't remember, but the end papers are really pretty. Um, it's just a really nice book, so I'm really excited to get more into it and see what my feelings are at the end. It's been getting fantastic reviews, so I am hoping I feel the same. My only complaint right now is that there's no map. I really wish there was a map so I could better understand the world, but but what can you do? What can you do? So now on to the books that are from Book Outlet. So first I have The Impossible Knife of Memory by Laurie Hulse Anderson. I am a really big fan of Laurie Hulse Anderson. I have read two of her books um, and I enjoyed both of them. Well like I could appreciate Speak, I just, it wasn't like an enjoyable time to read just because it's super intense, but she's kind of like Ellen Hopkins in the fact that she writes about very serious topics. Um, she doesn't write in pro prose, but she does write about very like intense and serious topics, which I really like. She does a very good job of handling them. Um, so I have read Speak and Winter Winter Girls by her, and I liked them both. I was really excited for this one because it sounds just very interesting and unlike anything I've read before. It deals with PTSD, so this girl's father has returned from, I think it's the war in Iraq, and um, it's just kind of their struggles as he tries to um, kind of get himself back into the groove of things in regular life after being in the war which it's actually inspired by um, someone in Lori House Anderson's family came back from the war and had PTSD. So I think it's going to be very interesting to kind of hear it written as she has had this kind of first-hand experience with uh, the illness. So I'm super excited for this. I think it's going to be a very sad and intense contemporary. So yeah, I don't know. I'm excited. I'm anticipating that it's going to be really good and I really hope it lives up to my expectations. The next book that I got is The Secret Hum of a Daisy by Tracy Holkser. I can't say her last name, I'm sorry. This is a middle grade contemporary novel that follows the main character as she deals with her mother's recent death. And it's a really hard thing for her to deal with because her mother and her were in a fight when she died. And she's going to live with her grandmother and she's just trying to kind of figure things out and try and come to terms with the passing of her mother and the fact that they left things on such bad terms. It sounds like like it's going to be a very sad but really beautiful story. I have heard fantastic things. Like I don't think I've heard one bad thing about this book. So I'm I have really high expectations. I'm hoping it's going to be as beautiful as I expect and I'm just very very excited to read this. And it actually I ordered it not damaged but it came in damaged and it was taped down. 
I don't know how that happened. But yeah, and that actually happened the same thing with the next book that I want to talk about and that is Rebel Spring by Morgan Rhodes. This one also came with like a slice right through at the bottom and even when you take off the dust jacket like someone must have been opening a box and they sliced right through the book but once again I didn't order it as scratch and dent but it came in like that but Book Outlet is really really good with their customer service. I don't know if you guys have ever had an issue but you contact their customer service and they are right on top of it they respond right away and they ended up giving me a credit for like what the scratch and dent price would have been so they gave me a little gift card um which was really awesome so I could buy more books but yeah the second book I or the next book I got is Rebel Spring by Morgan Rhodes um this is the second book to the Fallen Kingdom series I haven't started that series yet but when I saw that this second book was on book outlet I just had to jump on it I just I hadn't seen it there before and these books are like pretty expensive um, just because they're like so big so I just wanted to get them. Um, I don't really know what this is about apart from the fact that it's a fantasy series and has like a lot of political intrigue and like kind of um, countries are at war. It seems like it's very complicated to explain but I've heard great things so I'm really excited to get into it. And then the next book I got I bought with the little gift card that they gave me and that was Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. I was so excited to see this this book on there because I found out that um what's his name Nick Bateman is playing the main the main male character in this book and I was just so excited about that because Nick Bateman is whoo he's a beautiful human being so I just I immediately had to read this book and I actually ended up reading it this past weekend in one day and oh my god I loved it so much. I thought this book was so good. I ended up giving it 5 out of 5 stars. I just thought it was so fantastic. And I think I'm going to be doing a review for it maybe. I don't know. But yeah, it was really a great time. So that happened. Why am I moving my hands so much? Who even knows? So that is all for my book haul for this month. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm hoping to not buy any books this like month of March. Um, I'm not sure how well that's going to go. We shall see. But yeah, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Bye.